Hi there guys, welcome back. In today's tutorial, we're going to look at how to customize the experience control panel of your Roblox games. Let's go into this game and we're going to take a look at the control panel. So here's the control panel right here. This button here is to turn on and off the chat window and I can turn on and off my microphone here. Here we have three bars which are going to bring up a menu. So the first option is for you to report uh, something wrong. Here you have a selfie view. You can turn on and off if you want to see yourself. The next option here is for you to take a selfie picture and then here you can turn on and off your leaderboard and you have the emotes and you have the inventory which is your backpack and respawn is gonna reset your character. So in this tutorial we're gonna learn how to customize this control panel in your games. Let's now go to studio and take a look. So basically Roblox is giving you the tool to customize your control panel here to display or hide what you want to see in this control panel. Take for example, in this control panel, I have the leaderboard here, right? If my game does not need a leaderboard, I don't need to have it over here for the user to turn it on and off. So I can hide this button here. Another thing I may want to hide is maybe this emote uh, button here. So if I don't want people to uh, do emotes inside their games, I can hide that button and they no longer can do it. There are other things not in this menu that you can customize as well. Let's take for example the uh, health bar. So let's say if I go and I jump into this lava pool, right? So I'm losing health and when I'm losing health, you can see my health bar is being displayed over here in the top right hand corner of my screen. But I can set that so that it doesn't show up when I'm losing health. Let's go back to studio and take a look at how we can script this. To start, we're going to go to our starter GUI. We're going to add a local script. And in your local script, first declare your starter GUI. So local s equal to game colon get service starter GUI. Let me just copy this name here and paste it over here because I don't like to type. Now by default, all the items are going to appear, are going to be enabled. So if you don't want to see some items on your control panel, you can disable them by using the API that is provided to us by Roblox. So here we're going to go down here, we're going to say started GUI. And we're going to use the API from the started GUI. It is called set core GUI enable. The first parameter we're going to say enum dot core GUI type dot health and we're gonna set the enable parameter to false and that is how you hide the health bar now to hide the playlist instead of health here we're gonna say dot player list to false and lastly we're gonna hide the uh, emotes dot emotes menu and now if we play test again they are not gonna be available on the control panel so first thing we're gonna look for is our leaderboard is gone and if we want to look for it, it's not available. I cannot select the leaderboard here. Even if I hit the tab key to get the leaderboard, it's not there. And now if I go and jump into the lava pool, you can see I'm losing health, but there is no health bar. Well, you cannot tell I'm losing health, but I'm pretty sure I am. Let me take a look. So you can see my health here is at 78, 79 right now. It's going down to 45, but there is no health bar and I died. And the last and final thing we did was to hide the emotes. So there is no emotes menu here. So basically if you just do enum.coregui.type. You would get a list of all the items that you can disable. So here you can disable the chat window. You can disable the health, the health bar. You can disable the player's backpack, the player list, which is the leaderboard. If you choose all, everything would be disabled. Um, here you can disable the emotes menu, the captures, which is the selfie pictures, the self view, which is the little window that you see yourself. So all those items are customizable if you want to display them or if you want to hide them from the panel. In case you want to hide everything, then just select all here and that would hide everything there is to hide. Let us now play test and take a look. 
if I go and check the menu here, these are the only things left on the menu. Everything else are gone. One final thing I want to show you is, I'm not sure if this is useful or not, but it's there for you if you want to use it, is let's say if you go to test on a mobile device, right? I'm going to play test on a mobile device. And right now I have the controls here, so I can run and I can jump on the mobile device. Now to disable the controls on the mobile device for your game, you're going to insert the following two lines. So on the first line, you're declaring the GUI service, and then you say GUI service dot touch controls enable, set it to false. That is going to disable the controls on the mobile device. Let's play test and take a look. You can see now I have no more controls here, so I cannot move. I can still turn to look around, but I cannot move my character and I cannot jump. There is no jump button. And guys, that is how you customize the experience control panel of your Roblox games.